Okay, this is a reflection on the research that I've been doing with my third years. Um, the context of this research was to try and lessen the gender gap, which I have seen myself over the years between the boys and the girls. And it's also um, very evident in the national statistics that the boys are underachieving in art, as in most of the other subjects. So uh, the intervention was to... Um, asked the students to produce a series of pekekuchas. These are 20 second slides, um, 20 of these. Uh, it's very fast paced, very um, focused, where they put up the work that they have done and they also put up the blank sheets and uh, speak about their intention with a very specific timeline as to when these sheets will be completed. Um, we're now at the end of the Pekikuchas, uh, so this is a very appropriate time, I suppose, to, to be doing this reflection. Um, the intervention has been a success in that the projects are complete, but I'm not too sure that it was um, the Pekikuchas in themselves that, that um, were responsible for this. I think... The students realised with this intervention um, that I was not allowing them to choose whether to fail or to succeed. Um, it was quite ob obvious to them that I was insisting that these projects be done. It also meant that they spent a lot of time here when they had free classes. For instance, this week while the orals were on, teachers were out. Um, sub teachers were in so there was a lot of supervision going on so the students came to the art class um, to do some you know the final pekikuchas and that's how it has been when they had a free class so it meant I suppose that I was more responsive to their individual personalities and I have while the girls have also done these pekikuchas I think um, it's very hard to know what the factors are that have led to them completing their projects. Um, I have in my little diaries noticed that the boys are far more sensitive than they are prepared to discuss or to show. Um, they respond very well to individual praise, but not so well um, where the whole class are involved and, and you give credit um, I suppose again seeing them individually because of the nature of the Pekikuchas um, there was a more relaxed control than you would have in the ordinary classroom um, it was more fun and there was sort of I suppose you'd call it an optimistic sort of a good humour involved um, these are just the kind of things I've written in my notes and again I haven't kind of defined the factors but um I suppose they, they, you know, they were sort of being educated more with, with energy. Um, and I suppose a lot of the troublemaking and misbehaviour um, changes when, I suppose when, it, it just doesn't happen when they're being, when their energy is being, being put into something else in a, in a situation where they have no option but to, um, on a one-to-one -one really. Um, and I suppose, again, um, this Pekikucha, they got a chance to show sort of masculine characteristics without being stereotypically male images. They, the way they approach the Pekikuchas, you know, putting in the sound effects and revving cars and all that sort of noises, um, give them a chance to show me a little bit more who they were. And I think that meant a lot. I, I know I said that on one of the posts on Google Plus. I think the boys like you to know them, their personalities. Um, I suppose that's where I am, which is really, I have kept my diary and I have made those sort of anecdotal notes as we went along. Um, and I need to read back over all of that. I need to try and figure out uh, from that data um, what about the intervention was successful? Um, my, my own feeling at the moment is that it was 
the individual attention and it was the fact that I was not allowing these students to choose whether they failed or, su or succeeded. Um, so that's, that's, that's my reflection as it is. As I say, I have to read back over everything. And um, I also, um, during this, got the students, it just kind of evolved. It wasn't something I had planned. But um, the Pekikuchas were very, very uh, much um, focused on the work, on this is what I have done, this is what I have yet to do. Whereas there wasn't anything that reflected how they felt about what they had done. I didn't want to go down that road with Pekki Kuchas. I wanted it very much. I have done this sheet. I have to do four more drawings. I, you know, to focus on what they had to do. But I felt there was a gap there. So I have realized over time that boys seem to love drawing cartoons, simple drawings, simple images. So um, when I had them on one-to-ones, I got them to do just a little sketch of how they felt after the Pekikucha. Were they downheartened because it's so little done? Were they just a little little figure of a, of a person? Some of them drew their head down like this. One guy uh, did a drawing with my project written on it. He was you know, taking ownership and pride of his project. So I think even those little cartoons might have been more effective than, than the Pekikucha because it made them realize um, that, that, that how they feel um, has a huge impact on, on their, their work. So as I say, that's, that's where I am at the moment.